So here we are in the bean shed. Um, it's always interesting to me how much time these birds spend with their mates. There's Neon and Angel. There's Limey and Luscious. There is Scruffy and Laurel. Uh, there is Marine and Stratus. Um, there is Kelly with a giant bump on her still, and Gray, who's decided that he's in love with her. Um, there is Storm and Azul. And there is, that's Matilda over there, and that's Izod right there. Cloudy's in Izod's way, and he's been trying to negotiate her, and she's like, nah, I'm busy. So, <laughs> um, I do have a few, um, bachelor males in here. Um, Gray, I've already bred, and he's gonna go. He's actually gonna, at the show, they do a bird auction to, as a fundraiser for the club. So he's gonna be one of the auction birds. As well as Stratus, because I already have four of his babies. So, poor Marine, although I try to keep bonded pairs together and am largely successful, poor Marine has gotten bounced because of the infertile male issue. Um, so she was with, um, Limey first, now with Stratus, and he's gonna go, and she may end up with, um, with, uh, Sparky, uh, next fall. I'm gonna split up, split up Sparky and, um, Lilith, because I need chicks from Lilith, and I fear Sparky might be infertile, so Lilith is gonna go with, um, Hardy over here, who is proven and very fertile. So I have um, a few unbonded girls in here. First of all, that's Katesh, my recessive pied. Um, she is earmarked for um, Aquinas over there behind Buster. However, um, I had Peabody in here, and she and Peabody were clearly forming a bond. So I pulled Peabody and stuck him back in the boy's flight so that he won't um, hijack her before Aquinas gets a chance. Peabody is Aquinas' nephew, and they were born about three or four months apart. But a Peabody is big and a dominant male, and Aquinas is, is medium-sized and a passive male. So um, I needed to make sure I don't end up with another breezy situation where Katesh refuses to breed with anybody but a male that she's not going to get because Peabody is earmarked for Cloudy. Cloudy um, was, had, was kind of a disastrous parent last time, but I've learned a few things since then. First of all, I left her with five chicks, which is way more than any bird can raise. And second of all, I gave her way too many vegetables, so her chicks kept going into um, rickets. Now I know better. So um, I'm actually going to keep her. She's a high-value hen. She's teeny, but she has incredible feather. And I'm going to breed her to Peabody, who has size, and whose daddy... Uh, Storm right here has incredible feather, so I'm hoping to put some size on this little teeny thing and get some feather out of that as well. And I'm, I figure if I um, keep her down to three embryos and don't give her too many vegetables, she'll probably be a lot better at mothering. Um, this is a new little thing I picked up from a friend. She is the scrawniest little bird. She's um, She's been bred a lot and used up a lot, and she's kind of exhausted. But, as you can see, and she's pretty small, but as you can see, she has a lovely feather for a hen. That great big mask and the, and the big um, bunch of feathers on top of her head are awesome. Um, I am going to breed her to Jones, who does not have any of that beautiful feather, but he has his, his, um, his mother's bulk, and furthermore, I want to keep the, um, the violet going. So I'm going to breed him to her. He's got size. She's got feather. But she is going to be, it's going to be months before I have her in condition to breed again. She's, um... She's tired and, and worn out and way light. The other thing about her is that she plucks chicks. Um, her, and I've read a couple of different things about this. Um, a, that uh, it's a calcium or nutritional deficiency that causes hens to pluck their chicks, and others that it's a behavioral problem and never goes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed her and Jones at the same time that I breed Neon and Angel, who are my two normal parakeets. I'm going to switch their eggs and give Neon and Angel three um, 
spidey chicks to raise, and then I'll drop, I'll leave maybe one egg with her, one fertile egg with her and Jones, one of the parakeet eggs, and give her the chance to do it right. Um, if she does start to pluck it, it'll be fairly easy to place it in somebody else's nest to make sure it gets raised. Um, but I, I'm gonna, you know, beef her up with all the nutrition and rest that she needs. And the other thing is, because she's in a cage full of bonded pairs, this is a very stable, peaceful flock. So her high stress um, might might be alleviated somewhat by that. So um, so that's the breeding plan. Um, let's see, who's the other pair I'm gonna do? Uh, um, that's rotten. Um, that's it. Peabody and Cloudy, Katesh and Aquinas, and the, this new yellow-faced girl with Jones. Okay, that's it.